Hello friends, welcome to my new video tutorial. Bhavna Thakkar here. In this tutorial, we are going to concentrate on single concept in Jetpack Compose state hosting. In composable functions, state that is read or modified by multiple functions should live in a common ancestor. This process is called state hosting. To hoist means to lift or elevate. Contrarily, the state that doesn't need to be controlled by a composable's parent should not be hoisted. The source of truth belongs to whoever creates and controls the state. To demonstrate this, we are going to build this Jet BMI calculator app. It's available on my GitHub repository at this link. So let's see what the app is. This is what we are going to build. The BMI calculator form at the top and the second half um, first displays of what is the BMI range and what is the weight status and once you enter the values, it will tell you your BMI. So, if you enter height in centimeter and weight in kgs, you understand your BMI result and weight status. Suppose you reduce the weight by 10 kg and see its healthy weight. And when you reset it, it again resets it to a defined image. So this is what we are going to build and understand the state hoisting. So let's start with a new project in Android Studio. Select empty compose activity, click next. Click finish. Inside your main activity, delete everything. And we are going to start from scratch. And we create a function called main content. You can divide the app into two halves. There are two forms. The upper part is the BMI calculator form and the lower part is BMI result form. Start with the surface. You have two forms and they are vertically arranged. So you have a column and I define two functions. Now create this function BMI calculator form. We will need two variables to hold the state, state of the weight and state of the height. So create those. Runtime dot star is basically you should import. To get rid of this error, we are going to hold a string value in that and we will convert double to string. You will see that in, in a moment. Now, whether the weight and height are valid or not, for that you create a val. This is basically a boolean which will be valid like true when height is not empty. So similarly create another flag for valid weight now we need to have the UI for this BMI calculator form so I'm going to go a bit fast in creating the UI create a column that will hold two edit text and two buttons provide horizontal alignment for the column center horizontally now create the first header text now two text field i am using outline the text field First for the height, value equals to height on value change, height will get that value. Keyboard options, we want numeric keyboard so we provide keyboard type as number, also provide IME action. Give some space 
a little less than above so 10 dp again one more for the weight so i'll just copy this i want two buttons in a row calculate and reset now two buttons so far so good now define what you are going to do see on clicking of calculate you want to calculate the bmi on reset you want to do something so what you'll do is those two actions you will pass on to as a lambda to bmi calculator form the calling composable so what you will do is define two lambdas on calculate clicked now when you click on calculation button you have two values height and weight so those would be double so two parameters you will pass and you will perform some operation similarly define on reset click but here you don't want to pass any value so it will be empty for the parameter and you want to do something now come to on calculate clicked when on click is done first you do the validation if the height and width are valid or not if so return else call on calculate clicked and passing it to double values on reset clicked you want to reset weight and height to its initial value so it's empty string and you call on reset clicked so we have passed on on reset click and on calculate click to this particular bmi calculator form here you have to define what you are going to do with this values on calculate clicked and on reset click so on calculate clicked equals to your two parameters now understand why we passed on the value of weight and height to parent composable now this bmi calculator form uh, calculates the bmi and the bmi result form shows you the bmi so the bmi result that you get it is a state which is being um, read by bmi result form but it is calculated by bmi calculator form so this is the state which is used by more than one composable function so it should reside in the parent it should reside in main content one state that you got and the other state is this bmi uh, result form needs to know whether it wants to show uh, the image or it will show some the cal some calculation see when i enter the value and i click on calculate you see the result and when i reset it you see the image so it wants to have a boolean flag whether it should show the bmi result or not so we need two variables which are modified by bmi calculator form but used by result form so those two states should be hoisted one boolean state and one state for the double value bmi result so you got two states now those are hoisted to parent main content now these two will be calculated here on calculate clicked on calculate clicked what you will do is bmi result equals to call a utility function we are going to create this function calculate bmi weight and height and show bmi result will be equals to true on reset click bmi result has to be resetted show bmi result will be equals to false 
to bmi result form we are going to pass in these two values show bmi result and bmi result before we move any further let's define calculate bmi for that go to project bmi calculator and define a kotlin class or file say utils.kt here define calculate bmi function so it basically takes your weight and height and if any of those are zero then bmi result is zero else it uses the standard formula for calculating the bmi that's weight divided by height in meter square so we have the height in centimeter so this way the formula will work apart from uh, this calculate bmi we are going to need one a couple of more utility functions before that let's define the weight status as the enum i am going to use android studio live templates it will not be a class weight status will be an enum that has value and color so you have underweight healthy weight overweight and obesity import android dot graphics and color this colors will help us in the display now we go to utils dot kt and we define two more functions get formatted bmi this will get the take the bmi value and format it so that it displays only one decimal one point after the decimal one more function we will need get the weight status so this will take the bmi value and return you the weight status so when the bmi value is between 0 to 18.4 it is underweight 18.5 to 24.9 and this way the business logic for the sample app we are putting it in the utils.kt now return to main content this calculate bmi is done now bmi result form we are going to code now bmi result you have an image that gives you the values of if it is reset so when show bmi is false and when the calculate bmi is clicked show bmi will be true and you will see the other text what will be that two text fields so this way we are going to build Create a column. Now if show BMI is true, you have two text fields. First text field will show the weight state or uh, the BMI value and the second field will show the weight status. Give some styling to the text. Now color for this particular we want to get the from the weight status. So first you have to get the weight status from the BMI. So weight status equals to get weight status and you give the BMI value. Go to weight status function and it takes the BMI value and it gives you the status. It's underweight, healthy weight, overweight or obese etc. So based on that, weight status is an enum which has value and color. So we are going to take the color. You have to wrap it around the color. You can also give style. So we have defined the BMI. Then some space and now weight status. So I just copy paste this and make changes. Now this is when we want to show the BMI. If you don't want to show the BMI, we have to show the image. And for image, let's take the image from uh, from desktop or PNG image. I am pasting into resources drawable folder 
copy this image bmi.png Our coding is now complete. Let's build and run the app. Something is wrong. If you see this column, everything has to go inside the column which we have put it outside. So I'll just move this everything inside column. It should be fine now. Again build and run. Enter height and weight. So the main thing to understand in this app is state hosting. Go to main content and see these two states have to be hoisted because they are read and modified by two different forms. They are read by be my result form calculated by calculator form. However, the weight and height if you can see inside the BMI calculator form we have weight and height state the final value we are passing to on calculate click those individual values are not being used by the result form so those could be local to the BMI calculator form I hope this video was helpful in understanding this important concept stay tuned for upcoming videos on Jetpack Compose and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications See you.